welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video. Today is day number one of my hashtag 10 days of holiday makeup. This is where I'm going to be doing one video every single day starting today, December 10th, all the way up until December 20th. I'm going to be doing an eye look every single day. I decided to go with the more wearable side today just because I feel like I just would not wear a colorful extravagant look like the ones going around using this palette. I wanted to do something a little bit more on the wearable side, something that I myself would wear for Christmas or for New Year's and this is definitely something that I would wear. Before we get started into the eyeshadow portion of the video, if you're not yet a part of our T-Squad family and you'd like to join, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so YouTube alerts you every time I upload a video. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram because when I'm not here, I am most likely over there. Guys, I am beyond excited to play around with this palette and bring you guys several tutorials using it. All right, guys, and with that being said, let's go ahead and get started into day one. If you guys want to learn how to achieve this look. Also, if you do decide to recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Do the whole hashtag 10 days of holiday makeup, and I'll be more than happy to go follow you. And the highlight, you guys, is actually an eyeshadow from this palette. It is extremely, extremely beaming freaking highlight. Like, I am obsessed, obsessed. I am so excited! <gasps> this is the Probiotics Peach and Passion Fruit Juice. I am beyond excited. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. This palette is extremely overwhelming for me because I feel like I am not a pro at doing makeup yet so seeing all of these ooh, I love this palette I love the packaging it's like super easy to clean I love the whole James Charles look at that it's like in a glossy kind of writing oh, I love it I love black <laughs> wait a moment of silence you guys this is that mean. What I did notice with this palette is that the shadows do have fallout. Damn, there's like so much colors to choose from. I'm gonna take this shadow right here. To be very honest with you, this did come with like um, a pamphlet, but I don't know where it's at. I lost it. So I'm gonna go with this shadow right here. This is like a taupey brown, cool tone brown kind of color. So I'm gonna pop that. I'm just gonna start by blending this from inner to outer corner. I wanna intensify this color a little bit more, so that's what I'm doing here. Like I said, I'm bringing it from inner to outer corner. I want this lid to be the base. I'm actually going to take the M433 by Morphe and I'm now picking up this shade here which is in between a pink and a red. Um, it's kind of like a baby maroony kind of color so I'm going to pick that one up. Ooh, there's definitely fallout in this palette there's, but I feel like it's because the shadows are very pigmented. Always if you guys are new here, I do not like to do swatches of any palettes because shadows can perform pretty um what you call it shadows can either swatch beautifully and perform like shit and vice versa so that's the reason why i don't really like to do swatches here on my channel uh, packing this on the outer part of my eye and then i'm going to go back in and blend it out so i'm actually going to place this all over the lid very very lightly and then i'm going to go back in and kind of blend the outer edges and i'm going to take this shadow here so the difference between this one and the one that i used before is that this one is a little bit more darker 
So I'm actually gonna take this one. Yeah, it's definitely way more darker. Placing this on the outer part of the eye. And then I'll go back in and blend it. I'm gonna bring this all over the lid as well. So same thing that we did with the other one. We're basically just deepening up um, the shadow underneath, making it a little bit darker. Now that we have that color laid on, I'm just gonna go back in with my Cara Beauty blending brush and I'm just gonna blend um, the edges of this shadow. Now I'm taking a smaller brush. This one is very identical to the M433 by Morphe, but it is a little bit more tapered. Um, this one is by Kylie Cosmetics. So I'm now taking this brown shade here to deepen it up. I'm gonna take this dark brown shade here. It's like super, super dark. And I'm actually just going to tight line um, my lash line. I still want the red to peek through, but I kind of want it a little bit deeper just because for the holidays, you obviously want something sultry, something sexy, um, at least me. I mean, I know there's some of us out there that like a more subtle look, but I like something a little bit more provocative. So that's why I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit. I'm going to take a flat brush. This is the Cara K36. I'm going to spritz coat my brush like really, really wet. I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to start... I'm actually going to mix these two shadows here. This one is a shimmery red brick kind of color. And this one is a copper. So I'm actually going to mix the two. And yeah. All over the lid. Alrighty, so this one is not too intense. I really wish that this shadow were to be a little bit more pigmented and metallic-y, but it's not. So far, I feel like the only shadow that had fallout was the dark brown one that I put over here. I don't want to get rid of the shimmer, but I do want the outer part to still be matte. So in case any shimmer did fall, we got rid of it. I'm going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and then I'm going to come back to finish the lower lash line. So I'll see you guys in a second. And I'm just going to pop some on my top lashes. I haven't washed these lashes for a week and they're still popping. Really, really, really good. I actually wanted to use one of the shadows here as a highlight. So we're actually going to do that. I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to mix it in with this one. Even though I already have a highlight on, I really wanted to use those two shadows. So I'm going to pop some. Oh, yes, bitch. Oh, nice. Okay, Sister James, you did that, boo. So, same thing, you guys. I'm taking this shade here, mixing it in with this one. Oh, bitch. It's rare when I do, like, eyeshadows for highlights, but you guys... I'm living. I'm going to start off with this shade here. This was the taupey brown. It's a very cool tone, light brown shadow. Up into my mirror and I'm going to buff it. If you look up into your mirror, you guys, I promise you, you will not get shadow inside your eye or it's not going to water or anything like that. And 
I'm also going to buff this. So I'm actually going to take this shade here. This is the darkest maroony red shade that we use. I'm actually going to stamp that real close to my lash line. Go back into my Morphe M4 411 and I'm just going to buff that shadow. I'm not going to go back into my accelerator lash and I'm just going to pop some on my bottom lashes. So to finish off the look, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics 105. I'm coating it with some Morphe setting spray and I'm going to go back into the palette. I wasn't going to um, highlight my inner corner because I feel like it looks good like that. But I'm actually going to take the second shade from the palette, which is this one right here. It's like a white champagne kind of color and I'm going to highlight my inner corner. Oh yeah. All right guys, and this is the finished and completed look for day number one using the James Charles and Morphe collaboration. I really, really like it. I love how everything looks. I feel like it's something very sultry, something very sexy, yeah, glam. Um, and as you guys saw, we didn't really put a lot of work into it. I am living for the highlight. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, if you're not yet a part of our Tea Squad family and you'd like to join, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so YouTube alerts you for the next couple videos coming up your way. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram because when I'm not here, I am most likely over there. So go follow me there. Thanks, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.